Hi, my name is Darren Egan from IBM in Dublin, Ireland. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the Dojo Data Grid Control. This is just one of the many new features and controls of the XPages extension library. The Dojo Grid Control will be associated with the REST service to populate the grid with data. The REST service reads from the Domino View All Contacts, which contains contact details including fields such as name, email address and city. Begin by adding the Data Grid Control to an X page. Then add a column to the grid for each field from the view you're interested in. In this case, first name, last name, email, and city. Save and preview the page to see the resulting grid with four columns, one for each field, first name, last name, email, and city. Next, let's create the REST service to populate the grid with data. Add a REST service control to the page and select the property service and add a view item file service. This associates the REST service with the domino view. Set the property view name to specify the domino view, in this case all contacts. Next, the property default columns is set to true. This specifies whether the views columns should be automatically added. Then set the service property var. This is a request scope attribute under which a view row will be made available programmatically. Lastly, add a rest view column to the property columns and set its value to city. The property var set previously is now used to set the rest view columns value. The rest view columns value is set to the column value city from the domino view all contacts. Finally, the dojo grid control must be associated with the rest service defined. Select the dojo grid and set its property store component ID to the rest controls ID. Finally, save and preview the control. The Dojo Grid now loads its data using the REST service. It automatically provides scroll bars on the right to navigate through the data fields. It's also possible to select any row individually or to select multiple rows. Finally, there are two properties I want to draw your attention to. The first is column reordering, which allows you to drag and reorder the control's data columns. The second is the property editable. This is set on a column and specifies whether its value can be changed or not. So finally, if we save and refresh the page, we should be now able to reorder the data grid's columns, and it should also be possible to change the value for a row in the column first name. For more information about the XPages extension library, please visit the website.